All right, this is a uh, 1994 Yamaha XP535, and I'm gonna remove the fuel tank. And you're gonna need 10 millimeter, eight millimeter, and a 17 millimeter socket. So we'll remove these top screws first. So with it, with this tank, to pull this off, so on on the left side of the bike, you got this bar right here. It's only on the left side that this comes off. So you, it, the tank has to come out on the left side. That's what it looks like to me. Um, I've never taken one of these off before, but. So this is just based off of what I could see. And you got the 17 millimeter bolt down here. And you got your eight millimeter bolt right here. That holds on, holds this plate in place. Oh, and, and then it looks like there's some hex screws right here. Uh, well, some hex screws right here. Well, it looks like this. Well, that, yeah, that does need to come off, but it also looks like these 10 millimeter bolts need to come off as well. Because this bracket is welded to this bar. So let me go get some hex screws and I'll tell you what size they are. Okay, these are gonna be six millimeter hex uh, sockets or hex bits. I guess he does it looks like looks like you don't need to take well 
Yeah, you could just leave this on the bar and just kind of let it hang. You can just let that, that bar hang so you don't need to worry about taking this piece off. And uh, so it looks like you just need to take the hoses off. Looks like, yeah, the hoses just come off. And take the fuel pump off. And the fuel pump is, there's their uh, 10 millimeter uh, bolt holding the fuel pump. take these bolts off so we don't lose them and there's these uh, spacers so yeah just uh, grab a screwdriver Phillips screwdriver to get these well depends on what kind of clamps uh, are on your hoses looking at it at first I thought it was gonna be super difficult to get this tank off but now that I actually looking over it it doesn't look too bad just loosen up these clamps got the clamp for the filter that comes off and then you know if you've never taken these hoses off before they're gonna be pretty uh, tight on here oh well this wasn't too bad I tried blowing out the tank you know I put vinegar in the tank and everything tried blowing it out but you you just can't get everything out and I just want to make sure everything gets out of the tank before you know putting new fuel on it and and then I'd hate to put it all back together And it's not fully clean and and you know after we re, redoing rebuilt cleaning and rebuilding the carburetor and then it's all and I'd hate for uh, having to re clean the carburetor again okay so from what I could see it looks like there's 10 millimeter bolts behind here. And I don't think I could get to that. Maybe I can get to those. 
So there's two 10 millimeter bolts behind this, um, this fender. And I can see mirror bolt on the right side Sure. Can't really see. Sure, if you just wiggle it out or I guess there's some wires attached to one side. Just just uh clip to it. You, you don't lose these rub, rubber spacers. So you got a spacer, a rubber spacer on, on this side, on the right side of the bike. Yeah, you know, there's a bar right here. There's like a, there's a spacer like this on the other side of the tank. I think that needs to come off before. Before, uh, yeah, this rubber spacer needs to come off and you just bend this tab, a uh, tab back to get this off. So I think you just need that little bit of space to 
to get it out. And I think I've got everything disconnected. There's a little thing that Those look like 10 millimeter bolts. It's the only way to get that off. So we gotta take the battery out. It's good to make more room anyway. Let's get the battery off. Put the screws back on the battery so you don't lose them. the charger on this battery so we should be good to go on that okay so there's wires attached to this battery cover this, this battery cover needs to come out there's all these wires in the way to the side of the battery cover. deal with all these wires. You know what, it might just be easier just to undo these wires here. show you there's these two screws down in there that need to come off there's a tab from this tank that goes underneath here to 
keep it in place. So those are two 10 millimeter screws. comes out see the tab goes in there from the tank you just can't you just can't get it out you can't man even maneuver the tank out with this on there so now with that off hopefully we can now pull this tank off hopefully there's no other wires connecting Oh wow, you got some, we got some spare, some spare fuses on this tank. That's kind of cool. Didn't know that. Okay, just make sure there's no wires caught on anything. I got this bike. I didn't even know there was a tank right here. I didn't even know they they had tanks sitting in the middle of a frame on a motorcycle. Didn't know they did this. Kind of cool. And I guess it's just, maneuvering this out. Tap. There's this right here that it was bent out. That kind of made it easier pushing that back in. But what I'm finding out is that maybe this fender needs to come out first. Fender needs to come out probably. Yep. can't fight it you gotta just be gentle with it pulling it out and I guess yeah there's a wire connecting from the pet cock so just undo that wire and it's this wire here Gotta remember where they all go. Okay, that's it. That's removing a fuel tank off of the uh, That's removing a fuel tank off of a 1994 Yamaha. Virago XV535. And until the next project, we'll see you next time.